Hi, I'm Ron Netter, and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Netter. This time I'm going to show you how to get the Wemo Smart Wi-Fi plug talking to Alexa. And that starts now. Well, we've gotten this up and running in a previous video, and if you're not familiar with where it looks, then to give you a picture right there, that's, this is what really attracted me to it. It's very compact. It really doesn't, unlike some of the plugs that I've seen, it can block, you know, if you don't put it in the top spot, then it's going to block uh, some, if you plug it down here in the bottom, then some of these can plug, block part of the plug here, which you really don't want to do. So this one really is, from, from a, a form standpoint, really was was done right. So what we'll do is we're going to get the process started to get the skills set with Alexa. Now, this one is very intelligent how it did it, and it really is slick. Now, I've, I've done it a couple times just to make sure it was going to hold consistent. And this is, they were thinking this one through. So we'll shift over here and we'll go to the Alexa skills page and search for Wima. And you'll want to pick the, the first one that you see. So you've got, let me get my uh, picture out of the way. So you'll see the Wima logo, Belkin International. This is the one you want. So we'll click the enable. Now, up until this point, what you would have had to have done would be to enter your account credentials, but I've already done that, so it's got that in cash. So we'll say ready to verify. And you reach over here, and I've got my just off camera. We'll turn it on. And you got to give it a few seconds, and then, okay, see, at that point, and if it had been on, you would turn it off. So we'll say yes, that's me, and that's all there is to linking. So you don't have to worry about getting certain devices or, or matching names up. That really is very straightforward. The thing to remember is the name that Alexa is going to know it by, and what we've got to do now is we've got to let it rediscover. Now, you've got the option of clicking the Discover Devices button, or you can just cancel out of that and get... Madame A to, you can just say, discover my devices. And that's all it will take. So really, it's it's very straightforward, very easy to, to do. I even had it on uh, this one. Let's see, check my phone here real quick. Yeah, I put it on, the, on a different uh, SSID from that one. Actually, no, scratch, I shifted over to the one I used for this. So it's, you see it named there. Now I'm going to shift over to... We're back over to the camera and we're going to go to the Wemo app for just a bit and we're going to escape out of here and it should catch in just a second. Maybe running a little bit behind and then we'll go to the Wemo app and you got to love technology when it's not working right here. So it, let's see, make sure that I'm on. that one okay so oh well you know like i said technology is great when it works so we'll shift back over here and what we should be able to do oh i see that well here we're just going to stop the screencast temporarily and okay that will fix that now we'll go over here because it just kind of got out of sync so we'll just go up here open up a new tab and apps and all cast receiver and then i will go back to the mirror app and we'll tap that okay now we've got it up and running again so as you can see it's uh you know technology is great when it works so Basically, what we want to do is we'll go in to the Wemo app, which I've got under my IoT folder, and the name that it's going to know the smart plug by is going to be the one that you entered when you set up 
the Wemo app. So we're going to take just a second here because I'm hitting the connection pretty hard with the with the streaming video. So that's uh, uh, we'll come back to that here in just a minute while it's deciding what it wants to do. But we'll go we'll go to the the portable Madame, and I will turn off my lower graphic down here. Turn on Wemo. Okay. Okay. Now, in that case, that was a wasted command because it had already been turned on. And now, turn off Wemo. Okay. okay. And it just clicked. And all you'll hear is, is an okay at that point. And I was looking over here, so we'll run it again. Turn on Wemo. And okay. It, the timing was about quarter half second, which is not bad considering the uh, the delay sometimes on the internet connection. So we'll turn it back off. Turn off Wemo. Okay. Now that delay was a little bit longer, so you know there, there's going to be with some of this, you know, as they say, your your mileage will vary and we'll see if it's going to decide to, okay, there we go. Now at that time it was just running a little bit better. Now this is the name of the device. And I just called it Wemo. You'll probably want to call it something else. And you can change it just by tapping the little pencil and you will tap the right arrow there and you can go, we can call it Wemo one or whatever you want to do. And uh, if you do change it, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to unlink your account in the Amazon Alexa skills and then re-enable it. So what we can do here, and I'd shown you on the website how to do it, because that's generally where I like to do it. But we'll go in here to Alexa and we'll go tap on the menu bar. We'll go to skills and games. This is a little different from what I normally see. Okay, we'll tap that. We don't care about that. And we'll tap on your skills. And then, of course, Wemo is the first one there. And then we'll just to, you know, when you actually you rename the device, just tap disable skill. And we'll do that. And then to re-enable it, since I've already got it cached in the computer, what we'll do is make sure that we've got the right picture up here and we don't sorry about that okay now we've got that so we'll just go over here to see the Wemo one is now gone so what we'll do is we'll go over here and we'll just go all skills we will enter Wemo And of course, now this time it thinks it's it's got to log me back in, so that's fine. We'll we'll do that, and we'll go to enable. Okay, see so now it says ready to verify, so we'll do that. Okay, now it's going a little timer again, so this time we'll turn it on. And initially, I thought you had to turn it off and on, but it's got the the Wemo Cloud's got to know that it's talking to it so we'll say yes that's me and then if you've got an android smartwatch you get an alert that hey it's now been linked and this is where we'll go to close out that window and we'll say discover devices and so that really is to, to change a name is is not a, a, a big deal on this by by any means so and this will take a little longer to run because like I said where I'm streaming video out over the same connection this is trying to talk to. But that could be worse. So really this is a very uh, straightforward system to put together, very consistent in its performance. Now in the video I did on for example on the Sonoff Slamfer, I do want to set the record straight. I did find the problem. It was not the Sonoff device. It was not Alexa. It was my pronunciation. Because I had a one word that because I pronounce it slowly, Alexa interpreted that as two words. I found out after I did the video that if I 
read, you know, said the word a little bit faster, then it was fine. So that's kind of a troubleshooting step, depending on the name you pick. If it's something that could sound like two words, or if you pause just a little bit, that may cause some problems with voice recognition. But folks, this is still kind of first generation technology. I don't really want to call it second generation yet, but it's, it's getting, so it's little quirks like that and knowing how to troubleshoot. And I, one of, uh, you viewers wrote into me was having a problem with that in a similar situation. So there's going to be, I'm going to go through some troubleshooting steps and we'll just kind of take it one step at a time and see if we can get that figured out. You know, you may end up having to go to, to manufacture tech support. And that's always a potential situation for these IoT devices. I mean, they're, they're, I would say they're close to 100%, but anytime you get a human voice involved and it's got to interpret it, sometimes there's going to be some things where they just don't act right. So it's just learning how to troubleshoot, and, and we'll go through the steps, and I'll kind of have a generalized troubleshooting process, and sometimes we'll, you know, I may look at doing ones for the different devices because there very well could be some exceptions depending on how they have a link into their cloud system and what kind of diagnostics that we've got available. So this is all part of the the series I'm doing, Making Your Home Work For You. Volume one's already out. The, the video you're seeing now is gonna be linked within volume two. It's probably gonna be later this year before I get uh, that book out because I've got quite a few items to go through and I'm talking with other manufacturers uh, about some water monitoring devices. Uh, there's all sorts of different things that I'm looking at because I really want to showcase some of the things that could be done just, you know, granted, turning on a, a light bulb or turning on a device is, is a nice to have. But there's so much more that, that can be done. For example, in showing the, uh, you know, turning off the Wemo device within the, uh, within the Alexa app on the phone. Now remember, if you've seen my videos on the Roi Viva, that same technology is available through that. You would just say, you know, right in the vehicle, Madame A, turn on Wemo, or whatever you had named the device. So keep in mind, there's there's more than one ways that you can use this. So if you forget to turn the light on, you've got it on a Wemo or whatever device you've chosen, there's ways we can turn the lights on and when you're not home. So that is, is kind of nice. So thank you very much for watching the video. We've in just before I started recording this video, I'm at 550 subscribers. Thank you everyone who has subscribed to this channel and has stayed with me. If you have any questions, I'm running behind on getting some of those questions taken care of, but I will do my best to try to get some of those taken care of this weekend. If you've got any kind of device you'd like me to take a look at, please let me know. I'd be happy to do what I can because it may be a device that I haven't seen before or worked with. So we'll both get to learn something out of the deal as well. Well, that's about all the time we've got for now. Uh, we've still got some videos to do with the Wemo, getting it tied into uh, Google Assistant, seeing if we can get it tied into Cortana. And then I'm also going to start looking at one of the reasons I got this device is I'm going to start looking at some of these third-party options, such as IFTTT, such as you know me, looking to see how we can leverage some additional things from those services to even make things a little bit better. So appreciate your time, and we'll see you in the next video.